Welcome everyone, it's Grayshirt Guy Rack, the Grayshirt as always, that's a lie. I never wear a gray shirt. I don't know, I just, the name just kind of stuck with me one day, because I wore a lot, because I, th I think what it was is I bought a pack of gray shirts at one point in time, and I just decided I'm going to wear them, and then the channel needed a name change, and I'm like, let's go with it. So let's get into it. Gisoth Sun's, or Gisoth Sun's Avatar. Dinosaur, Avatar, Legendary Creature, Naya, it's a 7-6 with Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. It's amazing. So this is Dinosaur Tribal. I do a lot of Tribal decks, and this is another one. This is Dinosaur Tribal. Whenever Gets Off Sun's Avatar deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library, put any number of Dinosaur Creature cards from among them on the battlefield, and the rest of the body of your library. This is basically um, kind of like Kindred Summons on a creature, sort of. Uh, it's also, you know, a 7-6 beat stick, and anytime I play with this deck, and you'll probably see it in the next uh, three videos. Anytime I play with Jisoth, if I can get him down and I can attack with him, most of the time he's pretty good. But my opponents will do anything they possibly can to prevent Jisoth from hitting the board. Uh, there should be a link to the tapped out or deck builder, whichever one I use, to the actual deck list. The deck list um, should... Uh, the deck list links are not always as up to date as uh, when I'm playing the deck. So I, earn, I urge you to follow along to see what cards I have in here because I don't always... I know there is a way where you can export from MitGo and then copy and paste, but sometimes I get lazy and I don't update the websites because I don't really go to them very often. Kind of once I build the deck in MitGo, that's kind of how it is. I, I don't really have the links too often. So that's why I make this video. I make a deck tech video. But anyways, let's get into it. So yeah, it's Dinosaur Tribal and we'll just go through it. We've got 36 lands. Um, basically, it's just a whole good Naya package of lands. It's, um, a couple fetch lands, some Blighted Foothill, Cinder Glade. Basically, a couple forests. They use a 7th edition forest. Um, pretty much the, like, the original duels. Kind of this, oh, uh, you can't see these. <laughs> it's basically just a bunch of, just a bunch of dual lands for Naya. Doesn't really matter. Whatever, whatever dual lands you have... So what I do like about using things like Tapped Out is like once you build the deck, it'll show you like what your mana costs are and what your mana is. And normally I just align those together. Not always, but normally I just align those to where they're closer together. And I use whatever dual lands I happen to have a hold of. Uh, but yeah, feel free to click the link if you want to know the actual lands. But let's get into the real cards. Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt is in every one of my decks. And actually, I just recently got... Let me, let me go grab that real quick because I haven't, uh, I haven't put it in here yet. Where'd it go? Uh, hold on. This is... We're doing this. We're doing this live. Uh, where are you? Sylvan Library. So I'm going to add Sylvan Library into this deck, but I got to figure out what to take out. So let's add Sylvan Library. Uh, yeah, we're doing this. We're doing it live. So what do I want to get rid of? You know, it's funny because someone's probably like, no, don't get rid of that. Well, I can't get rid of any dinosaurs. That just won't work. Um, hmm. It's a good question. I kind of like Hallowed Burial, though. What do I want to get rid of? You know what? I'm going to get rid of Vanquisher's Banner. Because it does get plus one, plus one. But it's card draw. But it's also five mana. And I hardly, like... I got a lot of stuff in the five slot. So Vanquisher's Banner is not bad. But because I put Sil uh, Sylvan Library in here, I'm going to take Vanquisher's Banner out. And if I want to put it back in later, feel free. Now, it's probably one of you who's like, no, don't do that. No, this is a really good card. It is a good card, and I do agree with you. But I have, like, Door Destiny and uh, Herald's Horn. I have other tribal synergy cards. And I never really want to drop this as much as I want to not drop it. So, yeah, we're going to take it out. So we're going to remove the Vanquisher's Banner to allow for the uh, the Sylvan Library. But anyways, we got the Mana Crypt. Almost every single one of my decks now has Mana Crypt because I bought it for Midgo, and since I only need one copy, I, I probably won't ever buy this on paper. This is one of those cards that I don't have in any of my paper versions of the decks. Let's continue. Then we got Enlightened Tutor. You know, it just helps me go get Mana Crypt, Quicksilver, Sliver, Dora Destiny, Mirari's Wake... Whatever enchantment I need out on the battlefield, like Chromatic Lantern, I use Enlightened Tutor to go grab. Uh, make this, you know, it's a one drop, zero, three human cleric, make dinosaurs cheaper. Path to Exile and Sword of Player share for the anytime I'm playing white. Gotta have that Exile package, single target removal. Sometimes I don't use Path of Exile because I don't want my opponents to get land. I don't mind my opponents getting life so much on Swords of Player but yeah. Uh, Birds of Paradise, because why not? And I actually have this in real. This is pretty cool. Uh, one Llanowar Elves. I, there's probably something I could put in here instead of Llanowar Elves, but that's ubiquitous. I just like tossing it in there for a little bit more ramp. Soul Ring. I could put... No, that costs three. 
There's a, another creature that um, makes three mana. Odin Pack Hunt Master, make a dinosaur cheaper. Raptor Hatchling, try to drop a dinosaur early. Plus, that got that enrage, you know, going on. Farseeg, Nature's Lore, Sakura Tribe Elder, now Sylvan Library. So these are all like the mana ramp. Card advantage. Uh, I'm probably going to kill myself with Sylvan Library and Mana Crypt combined. So that's how it's going to go. Sky Terror, just because it's a dinosaur, it's a flying menace. Uh, Siege Top, um, Dinosaur. I've been able to enrage it a couple times and get it pretty big, so that's pretty nice. It's rare, though. Most of the time it just gets killed really early, or it's used as a, like a 2-2 blocker. Um, we got Lightning Greaves. I do have Swift Foot Boots, but only certain decks I put Swift Foot Boots in. I just like Lightning Greaves more. Kinjali Sunwing. It's basically um, Thalia, but as a dinosaur. Territorial Hammer Skull. It's it's actually pretty good. I can just like prevent one of my opponents from blocking. More Mana Ramp. Uh, Death Scourge Scavenger, which is pretty good for, like, just attacking graveyards. Descendant's Path. Descendant's Path is good if you have the creatures already on the field. And it just helps you get through your dinosaurs much faster. Because it just lets you basically play them for free. But if you don't have the right setup, Descendant's Path is not really good. Actually, I should put Descendant's Path in my... Um, I, I, I made a, a different travel deck. I might actually want to put that in there. Uh, we got Corrosion Script for some uh, enchantment removal, because I used to run, what was that card, Aura Shards a lot, and Aura Shards is not bad, it's just Aura Shards is, it's not instant speed, I have to use Dinosaurs, so it's a little bit different, but I uh, got that Corrosion Group. Ranging Raptors to help me go get some more lands. Now I don't have a lot of uh, basic lands in here, so this is just, uh, use this until I run out of basics. Uh, Ravenous Dagger Tooth, it's good in Rage, helps me gain some life. Spells of Victory some more, for some more land grab. One thing I noticed with Spells of Victory and Midgo is it uh, puts... It doesn't say on the card that they come into play tapped, but it puts them into play tapped. So I don't know if this is like on the original card. It says to put them into play tapped, but on Midgo, it doesn't say put them into play tapped, but it does put them into play tapped, which is annoying. Just uh, kind of heads up for that. Then we got uh, Wayward Sawtooth, which is good in the early game when you're getting a lot of land, um, and good in the late game when it ascends... And then you can attack and block with a 5-5. But other than that, it's you know it's not bad. Uh, Thrashing Grindside. I basically love this card. Because it's like, buy enchantments and artifacts. Uh, Astacon Seer for some more um, main ramp. Plus I can just go return a dinosaur if I need to. Uh, let's go. We got Chromatic Lantern because we're running three colors. Herald's Horn because dinosaurs. Uh, Lifecrafter's Bestiary because we're, we got a lot of creatures in here. And we want to do some scry. Urza's Incubator to make our dinosaurs cheaper. Uh, Imperial Aerosaur, so hopefully we can get uh, Gisoth in the air for a turn. That'd be nice. Forerun of the Empires. This gets really gross if you're running Polyraptor with Forerun of the Empires. Pyrohemia, which helps me get that Enrage Trigger on a lock and also helps me deal with 1-1 creature decks. Elvish Piper to help throw... You know, those there are times when I just don't have enough lands or don't have the right lands. And uh, that's what I use that for. Sky Shroud Claim, um, there, it's been reprinted in Battle Bomb, which is pretty cool. Uh, and we helped go get some of those forests, and it's forests, so that can be any of the dual lands I have. Raging Registrar, so this is, uh, helps me, um, it says deals one damage to any target. Is that any one target? I think it's any one target. So I can use it for dealing one damage to my opponents, or, um, enraging my own creatures. Zenigos for, uh, we got Zenigos the Reveler for some mana ramp, and if I ever ultimate it, it gets pretty gross. Adora Destiny, uh, for, I mean, it's just travel synergy. Quicksilver Amulet, I finally put this in the deck. A lot of people were wondering why I didn't have this in the deck already. I just didn't have a copy of it, and it basically, you know, helps me get those creatures out there a little bit faster. Those big heavy creatures. Hallow Burial, because I want to wipe the board, but I don't want my creatures to go away. I would be happy if I put them in my deck, so I Hallow Burial them back into my deck. Instead of, instead of like, um, some of the other board wipes, like Wrath of God, I prefer to just put them back in my deck so I can reuse them. Uh, Trapped Out Tyrant, this thing's pretty gross. <laughs> um, it's basically an Oblivion Ring anytime I enrage it. <laughs> Charging Machasaur, because who doesn't want a 5-5 Trample Haste for 5? Snapping Sailback, this is, this is pretty good if you can keep enraging it. Well, it's got Flash. Uh, Raging Sawtooth, it's... It's basically a one-time enrage trigger, but it's still a 5-5 five, five trampler for 5, so it's not bad. Uh, Registrar Alpha, basically all my other dinosaurs get hey, so it's... What are the, it's what's the replacement for Yavimaya Hollows? No, not Hollows. 
It might be hollows. It's there was like an enchantment that gave all creatures haste, but you can give it plus. It's whatever. Anyways, so red star alpha is pretty good. Plus makes a dinosaur when he comes into the battlefield. Watley warrior poets pretty good dinosaur synergy, and uh, helps me gain life. Mirari's wake to help me pay some of these beefy creatures out there, and I like this this version of Mirari's wake. I don't I don't not like the older one, but I actually do like this one a lot. Bellowing Agisaur, <clears throat> more enrage, and then it helps me beef up all my creatures. Uh, Itali Primal Storm. I played against Itali decks. I don't know if I played Itali decks with this deck, but Itali gets really gross if you can get him out there. Uh, him or her, whatever it is. You know, it's a dinosaur. Who knows? Sun Crown Hunter. I. It's a common, but for some weird reason, it gets attacked very quickly. And it's a, you know, it's a 5-4 for 6, but its enrage and cost is ridiculous, especially against Planeswalker decks. I actually played against a Teferi deck. I still lost, but um, it's it was this was like long before I recorded this, but when I was testing it out, yeah, uh, Teferi decks hate this thing because they just like will ping their Planeswalkers really quickly. Burning Sun's Avatar, because why not? Carnage Tyrant, because Carnage Tyrant should, I think, I might want to put Carnage Tyrant in just every green deck, just be like, you want a 7-6 non-counterable Trample Hexproof Dinosaur? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, Goring Ceratops gives all my creature or all my creatures get double strike whenever it attacks. Silverclad Frostod basically just destroys stuff when I hit the Enrage. And you can get, you can with Pyrohemia and stuff like that, you can get the Enrage going. Kidra Summons, it's basically Gisoth, but Kidra Summons. And let's get over the last end of the package. Zatalpa Primal Dawn is ridiculous. Waking Sun's Avatar is a board wipe for not dinosaurs. Paula Raptor is to try to go infinite with uh, enrage triggers. Zakama, I try to, I want to cheat Zakama out. Um, but once you have Zakama out, it's really hard to like defeat a nine nine Vigilance Trample Reach that has all of these keyword abilities. And Golly Primal Hunger, try to always just pay two mana to get this guy out. But yeah, it's pretty much a huge dinosaur to twelve twelve Trample. And that is the deck tech. I hope you all enjoy, and let's get into some games. Have a great day. See you all around.